Artificial intelligence is transforming our world at a rapid rate. At the same time, there's also an intensifying debate about whether the advanced technology is bringing with it hope or horror. Rishi Sunak wants the UK to play a major role in the AI revolution, and more leaders and tech executives have gathered at Bletchley Park for a two-day summit on the subject. The gathering began with a video address from King Charles. We are witnessing one of the greatest technological leaps in the history of human endeavour. The rapid rise of powerful artificial intelligence is considered by many of the greatest thinkers of our age to be no less significant no less important than the discovery of electricity, uh, the splitting of the atom, the creation of the World Wide Web, or even the harnessing of fire. However, if we are to realize the untold benefits of AI, then we must work together on combating its significant risks too. AI continues to advance with ever greater speed towards models that some predict could surpass human abilities, even human understanding. And the American billionaire Elon Musk is among the big tech figures who've jetted in for the summit. He runs the electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla and X, which was formerly known as Twitter. I, I, th I think it's, this, it's a step in the right direction, the summit. Should we fear AI? A little bit of fear is probably wise. Um, I think you've got a double-edged sword, which uh, where I think I think most likely I should say that uh, my personal opinion is that we're, AI is, is sort of like at least 80% likely to be beneficial um, and perhaps 20% uh, dangerous. Um, well, it's, it, this is obviously speculative at this point. Um, but uh, you know, I think, I think if, if we um, hope for the best or prepare for the worst, <laughs> the, worst, the, worst could, the very worst could be you know, extremely bad. But, um, but, but um, I think the probability of extremely bad is, is low. I think, we, but I think the more we, we, we pay attention to it, the more we care about it, the, the more we minimize the probability of something going wrong. So how significant is this AI summit for the UK and the world? We got the thoughts of Matthew Gooding, the managing editor of the website Tech Monitor. Um, so Matthew, this AI conference is attracting a lot of interest. What do you see as its aim? I think there's probably two aims to this. I think on a sort of global level, it's to try and get some kind of cohesive approach to this really important issue of AI safety we've seen over the last, really the last year, the sort of rapid development of these AI systems and a lot of uncertainty around what the implications for that might be. So I think the broad aim is to try and find some kind of consensus of how these technologies might be policed and what the sort of risks which are facing society and the opportunities which they can bring to society will be. Mm -hmm. I think for the UK, um, there's a more specific objective, which is to try and uh, promote its credibility as a as an AI power. I mean, there are a lot of there are a lot of AI companies doing business in the UK, some of the biggest names in the industry, but the UK and particularly the government want to position yeah. itself and use that as a as a way to sort of put itself on the same level as mm -hmm. uh, you know, the US and China and people like yeah, this. Yeah, because the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is showing a lot of interest in AI. And, you know, can the UK become a world leader in this technology? Uh, I think it's an interesting question. I guess it depends how you define world leader. I think that in terms of our research into artificial intelligence and the kind of, um, you know, the academic community we here, have here in the UK in this sort of field, we're probably up there with the best of the best of the you know areas in the world but i think that beyond that it's very difficult to see how you can claim the uk is a world leader because all the big ai companies are based in the us you've got china as well which has its own like really strong academic base of ai research and obviously massive scale massive resources and it's hard for the uk to compete mm -hmm. with these kind of big powers and also with the with the european union which has its own ideas about how AI should develop and how it should be regulated. The Bletchley Declaration w was signed today, uh, signed by 20 countries. How significant is it and how binding is it, if at all? You know, the short answer is not at all. I think that it's significant on the political level because it's, it's these countries all agreeing to look at this issue of AI safety together to assess the risks and to try and come up with a consensus of of what the most important risks are and how we should tackle them. 
but beyond that i think you look at the wording of it it's quite vague really all they've committed to is having some more meetings further down the line in six and 12 months and again if we go back to the rapid pace of this technology is changing chat gpt the the program which sort of kick-started all this the piece of ai technology only came out a year ago and really we've seen since then really really fast change in this area and to yeah. commit to another meeting in six months is you know is not the sort of pace that technology is going to move at so i think it's politically significant but i think that in terms of keeping you and i safe from the from the potential drawbacks of ai it's probably not that what, going to be that significant where do you think as a tech expert where do you think the balance lies between risks and opportunities with ai i mean do we have much to fear i think in terms of uh where the balance lies i think there are many different views on that i think some countries favor a sort of a light touch to this to regulating this technology and sort of letting it play out and seeing how it develops whereas other areas of the world want to regulate it okay. very strongly the technology is out there now okay. there's not much you can't put the genie back in the bottle which <laughs> is what elon it, musk would like to do indeed, yeah, indeed. so well, you just have to go with it and try yeah. and cover that well we will have to leave it there but then matthew thanks so much for joining us this evening